Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I am so excited to uh, introduce R.T. Singh. She is uh, from Tufts University and is getting her master's in agriculture, food, and environment. And a couple of things I'd love to just share about R.T. and her work with Bangor Savings Bank is, well, to simply put, the first word that came to mind was, wow. Um, it, it's just incredible, the passion and the caliber of work that has been brought, especially as it relates to, to, to data. Um, you know, we handed RT this concept for a project, and RT dug in, asked incredibly thoughtful questions. Uh, the research was amazing, offering recommendations and creating a structure and framework using minimal data sets that we had available, guiding us to find more, and then really creating an output that took a very complex problem and made it incredibly actionable. Um, not only you know, did we have an incredible experience with RT, but I also wanted to share some other things that were outside of Bangor Savings Bank. You know, um, two things in particular. Uh, one is, you know, she's already co-authored multiple peer-reviewed articles, which is impressive in its own right, as well as she's a champion badminton player. Um, I have not had the opportunity to go against her in badminton, but I'm also looking forward to that opportunity someday. So with that, I'm gonna hand it over to, to you, RT. Thank you, Sandra, for the introduction. As you all know, my work this summer was doing corporate social responsibility measurements at Bangor Saving Bank. To get started, I would like to bring your attention to the background of my project. Next slide, please. You Matter More is Bangor Savings Bank priority. So it is taking steps to report and account for its sustainability practices to improve the world for its employees, consumers, and communities facing climate risks. It will be achieved by managing the climate-related risks like reducing its carbon, carbon footprint from its operations and investment and help ESP differentiate itself in an environmentally conscious marketplace. After doing organizational research, data organization, and cleaning, I created the Greenhouse Gas Inventory for BSP by defining operational, organizational, and temporal boundaries for greenhouse gas reporting. I defined the operational control approach as an organizational boundary for BSP because BSP is a mutual savings bank. 2021 was chosen as the baseline year because we had the best data for 2021. And I made reporting matrix to define operations and sources of emissions. Next slide, please. Due to data sensi sensitivity and privacy, I won't be sharing exact numbers here, but I developed a level one scorecard on the left and reporting matrix on the right. I divided the scorecard into five categories. Number one, people and energy, which gave a clear picture of current uses of usage of energy per square foot and carbon emission per square foot. Second, third, and fourth are emissions from different categories like scope one, scope two, and scope three. And in fifth, I tried to incorporate reduction strategies to track BSP's contribution to sustainability and reduced carbon footprint. I also developed an accounting module and data mapping tool to capture data according to greenhouse gas protocol efficiently. However, we captured only a few categories of BSP uh, in, for 2021, we aim to capture all data by 2025, as you can see in the image on the right. Next slide, please. Though, again, I won't be able to share the exact source of emissions from different scopes and categories, uh, but uh, I would share the sum of total emission that was 2351.69 net metric tons of carbon dioxide equivalent generated by BSD, which is equal to carbon sequestrated by 2783 acres of US forest in, an, in one year and so many more as seen in the picture, reported from scope one, scope two and scope three emission. It also helped us identify reduced emissions due to recycling initiatives and solar panel reduction. At end, I would like to end by a quote from, from Yoga Bajaman. Conscious business happens when the participants in it are conscious. Conscious business transacts when the people in the business are making decisions in a conscious way, just like Bangor Savings Bank. I would like to extend my gratitude to my mentor, Sandra for, from BSP, Alexis Doyle, Fiona Wilson, Jennifer Andrews from UNH, Kay Clint, a fellow intern, and the entire UNH Sustainability 2022 cohort for all the fantastic learning over the last six weeks, I, 12 weeks. I now look forward, forward to your questions. 
Thanks so much, Arti. What a great presentation. So great to see this coming together. Um, Arti, a question for you. So, I mean, obviously you've developed a really wonderful uh, sort of skill set, tangible skill set, right, in, in, in carbon footprinting. Um, what would you say are your biggest takeaways sort of outside of the technical skills about sort of the way that change happens in organizations that, uh, on that sort of more on that sort of level of culture and process? Yeah, I believe to bring any kind of change, organizational research and culture should be aware to the employees and how we can build it together. So all the strategies will fail if we, if we didn't, do not incorporate organizational culture into our plan. And I saw in BSB their priority was culture and employees, then, then the consumer. So all those together is very important when, when as an organization, you really want to bring change just by introducing things slowly, culturally, uh, big impacts can happen. Yeah, that's great, Artie. Thank you. Um, there's a question here from from Ali, who, as you know, is one of Ali. Dr. Ali Leach is our, one of our resident uh, greenhouse gas uh, footprinting experts. Probably knows more about this than almost anyone in the world, I think. Um, so Ali has asked a question. Uh, in, in addition to saying great presentation, what reduction strategies do you recommend for Bangor Savings? Is there a plan to estimate emissions from, from their investments in the future, not just from operations? Yeah, very good question. Um, so to uh, add this, there are a few things which has helped BSB reduce its carbon footprint. So right now, BSB just has nine solar panels and their, solar, uh, so their carbon emission has reduced by around 15%. I, I cannot share exact number, but around 15%, that's huge only from nine, uh, nine of the solar panels. At the same time, uh, the data center's investment has been very good. Like I have all those things in my scorecard. So in, the, in those ways, actually, BSB is trying to reduce its carbon footprint. But in future, first, it wants its operation to be sustainable and and reduce its carbon footprint from operations. And obviously I had like, I got an opportunity to talk to CEO, CEO and Sandra, and we did discuss about investment, which is in line uh, to for BSB to, uh, to move ahead. But their priority right now was just as an operation, how do we become more sustainable and eventually explore the investment part. 